Azure Gleam. Reprisal. Having repelled the forces of the Western Church, the Kingdom and Alliance armies joined together to launch a large-scale coordinated attack on the Empire. Preparing to assault a key imperial position, the Kingdom army uses northeastern Geert territory as a bridgehead to press further south. Meanwhile, a reliable ally returns to their side. It's good to see you safely back, Rodrigue. I understand matters have begun to settle down in the West. They have. It took more than a few lengthy inquiries, but I believe we finally excised the foul seed of discord from our soil. And the changes at the top of houses Gideon, Mateus, and Elador should ensure it never takes root again. So they're keeping their territories then? I would have expected us to remove them completely after what they did. Such is easier said than done. Our prior situation with House Kleiman took time as well. Yes. Replacing the head of a territory always brings dissenters crawling out of the woodwork to oppose it. Be they nobles or commoners. At least now we won't have to worry about our land descending into chaos behind us. We can't just keep repeating the same mistakes. I must say, though, I'm surprised this all went as smoothly as it did. <laughs> I did used to be the eminent Duke Fraldarius, remember? I have just a bit of experience with these things. <laughs> In any case, we must turn our gaze eastward. How's the Alliance holding up? According to Gustav's report, Claude is holding out for the perfect opportunity to advance his army. Naturally, they don't favor their chances in a head-on clash with the famed Count Burgleys. So, for the time being, they intend to feign a deadlock and slowly dwindle away the enemy forces. It seems the decision to reclaim the monastery was a shrewd one, then. It's our best path forward. I know we're slated to advance on Hevering territory, but shouldn't we hold off till the Alliance can come help us, too? No. On the contrary, if we can show our individual might warrants attention, the Empire will have no choice but to dispatch more troops west. Which should, in turn, ease the burden on the Alliance and their army. Claude and I agreed to as much. The real question is whether we can even trust him. It's impossible to tell if you ask me. If anything, he might be trying to wear us down. Soften us up so he can beat the stuffing out of us later. I doubt he would do something like that. At least, not in the midst of pursuing the same goal. But you're right. Claude's tricky to pin down. You can never really tell what he's plotting. I don't believe we can be too cautious here. We should consider every possible angle. Agreed. But if the Alliance does try anything, Gustav and the Knights of Seros should be more than enough to thwart their plans. For now, though, we march on. Ready your units. So, we finally take aim at the Empire in earnest. Yes. We must finish this swiftly, for the sake of all those caught in the middle. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking, Your Majesty, do you have it within you to topple the Emperor? I speak not of military prowess, nor the strength of our army. No. I speak of your emotions. He's got a point. I mean, she's your stepsister. Anyone would hesitate to cut down their own family. She is an old friend as well. Though I doubt she has any recollection of it now. Rodrigue, do you truly think my hand will waver? I, who cleaved my own uncle's head from his shoulders? Hmm. Now, seeing as the Empire was involved in the tragedy of Dusker, there is still much I must ask of her. In a way, she and I are no different. Starting wars of our own volition, 
sending countless innocent lives to the feet of the goddess. However noble one's reasoning may be, a deed like that cannot go unpunished. And if she refuses to yield, then as a king, and one seeking revenge at that, I will take her life. I'm pleased to hear it. Oh, that reminds me. I meant to give you this earlier. A letter? One from Lady Patricia. I uncovered it during our inquiry of Viscount Elidor. From my stepmother? I hope you'll forgive the intrusion, but I have already examined its contents. The letter contains no new information of note. That said, I expect you'll find the subject matter quite disturbing indeed, Your Majesty. I see. I will read it later, then. Oh, Dimitri. Have you read that letter from your stepmom yet? Ah, uh, yes, I have. It was a missive requesting the then Viscount Elidor's cooperation in her conspiracy against my father. She claimed he would have much to gain from the King's elimination, all while shrewdly expressing sympathy with his objections to the reforms. I had it investigated for signs of forgery as a precaution, but such a search returned nothing. The letter is authentic. Meaning your stepmom was a willing participant in the tragedy of Dusker. She sent so many to die, and would have done the same to her own stepson if all had gone according to plan. All out of the desire to see her daughter again, or so Cornelius said. The wretch's words deserve little weight, but I believe she spoke true. In every memory I hold of my stepmother, she was always looking past me, as if the one she truly cared for was somewhere else entirely. I can't imagine how that must have felt for you, but I'm sure it wasn't easy for your stepmom either, separated from her family like that. <sighs> Indeed. I don't forgive her for how she treated me, but I suppose the blame doesn't lie solely with her. Still, being faced with such plain evidence of her crimes is a difficult thing to come to terms with. I had once thought her among those I would avenge, yet now she lies squarely in the path of my fury. Pretty heavy stuff, yeah. I can tell you're troubled as well. You can see straight through me, huh? Guess that's what three years together will do. It's Myson, that dark mage from before. He was familiar with my power somehow. And yeah, I know you said you trust me, but I'm not so sure I even trust myself anymore. I just can't stand not knowing the truth. Who am I really? No matter what answer awaits, I will continue to place my trust in you. That hasn't changed. But what if I transform and attack you? I would do whatever I must to restrain you, naturally. Failing that, I... <sighs> Forgive me. It helps no one to utter such words. It's fine. If nothing else, the threat of death is good motivation for me to get this power under control. Have you lost your mind? It almost sounds like you'd be okay with him killing you. I don't want to die, of course, but if it was between that and killing a friend, I know which one I'd pick.
Houses Gert, Esser, Lockin, and Ox. I can't believe we'll be facing them all at once. What do you expect? From their standpoint, this is an invasion. And they are the ones to repel it. They fight to protect their homes, their families, their livelihoods, just as we would fight to protect ours. We would all do well not to forget that. Be sure to tell those under your commands the same. Yes, your majesty. Feeling guilty about this isn't gonna change anything. We still have to fight, and we still have to win. You're right. This is the only way we'll ever get peace back in Fodlin. There's no turning back now. Not after what we've done. But I don't regret any of it. I believe in the path we're on. The very one that's led us to the battle ahead. Lasting peace is waiting for you on the other side of this fight. You've got my power to see you through it. It doesn't matter what any of us say, Bor. You know what needs to be done. We'll have plenty of time to grieve once this is all over. So stick to the plan and don't look back. We stand here because we believe in you, Your Majesty. I see. I'm heartened to know I have your trust. Whenever I've lost my way, all of you have been there to help me recover it. It's the least we can do, both as your subjects and your friends. Everything seems to be in order, Your Majesty. Sorry, am I interrupting something here? No, we've just finished. We will need your strength in this battle, Rodrigue. And my strength you'll have. Let's show these Imperial scoundrels what a mistake it is to cross the people of Fargus. shall stand in my path. So many no Not a problem. I've got this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Leave everything to me. Let's begin. It's time to move. Shall we? I must succeed. We will proceed as planned. We must hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of them. Please, I'll let me Noble Imperial out. houses have assembled on the battlefield. From the looks of it, they're desperate to defend the Empire. Gotcha. As are we to fight for our home. First, we must make peace and take the main hall. Duke Gert is holed up in the main hall. But capturing strongholds and besieging the enemy should draw them out. All right, let's aim for the closest stronghold first. Easy does it. No mercy. On to the next ones. You're finished. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave. I'll handle this. 
Our order. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Yes, I'm going. Shall we? Progress. That should put us at ease for the time being. Here they are, right on schedule. All units, move out and take the King of Forces down! So the enemy general finally shows. We've got to put them on the defensive. Not a problem. I've got this. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. We will pro- We must strive to perform to the- Shall we? I must succeed. I'll give it a thousand- Leave everything- <laughs> The strongholds belong to us now. Still, it all seems to be going too smooth. They're all over us! I can't stay here any longer! Don't you think you can escape? I'll give it a thousand- Leave everything to me! After her, quick! Felix, don't break ranks! Remember our objective. We will not be able to besiege the enemy until we capture the strongholds. is clear. Wait. You walk right into my trap. I simply can't waste this golden opportunity. Hanuman shall have his death. Death from above. Yeah. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin the operate. Our orders are clear. I'll give it. Leave everything to me. Shall I must succeed. We will proceed. We must strike. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. <laughs> it's an ambush. Everyone fall back. We can take down the enemies at the rear first. <laughs> Now we tighten the net. We can't let any of our units fall before we have them surrounded. Let's begin. It's time to move. Our order I'll handle this. <laughs> I fear that I'll just get in your way and ruin the wonderful strategy you've all thought up.
begin the operation. Our order... We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best... Let's begin. It's time to move. Leave everything to me. Shall we? I must... Let me at him! Reinforcements! We'll have to outlast them somehow! Gotcha. Your Majesty, I have troops held in reserve as discussed. We can mobilize on your command. Now's the time! Rodrigue, the reserves! Yes, Your Majesty. Spread the word to all units. There is no reason to be wary of a nobody like me. I hardly deserve to be here at all. You've gotten this far? Your persistence is honestly exhausting. No backing down! <laughs> If I lose, it'll leave us with a wide open. But I'm pretty sure this isn't worth throwing. I never thought I'd be the kind to fight to the death. But. I'll give it a thousand percent. Shall we? Are you in need of my assistance? Begin the operation. I have your back. We will pro We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of it. Not a problem. I've got this. I'll do it. This ends now! <laughs> Give it! We had no other choice. This won't be the last time we have to do this either. Victory must be ours. We will raise the city and the kingdom army with it. How dare you threaten our lands, Vargas Worms! Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. I'll give it a thousand percent. I'll back you up. Shall we? I must succeed. Work them? <laughs> When will it ever end? Surpass the numbers. Above all else, we must protect his majesty. Please, let's stop this. I could never bring myself to kill you. So the... I'll give it a leave. Goddess wishes me to suffer even further embarrassment. <laughs> Thankfully, I already have a way to slow the enemy advance. I deny you! It matters not how many rank and file soldiers fall. I am the Viscount, and I must not die here. Hear you loud and clear. Leave the backup to me. I'll give it a thousand, I'll back you up. Let's begin. I will be your shield. Scott, take a breather. They fended up on ambush. No, we cannot allow them to gain momentum. The time has come to remount our attack on the main hall. Territory I cannot stop that. Yeah? Yeah? 
Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Let's begin. It's time. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Our orders are clear. Shall we? I must six. We will proceed as planned. We must strike. Not a problem. I've got this. Allow the enemy is really serious about this. They're sending in so many soldiers. That's too close for comfort. I refuse to die in a place like this. to my father's death. I shall have revenge. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Shall we? I must succeed. We will proceed if we must strive to procure you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Not a, I've got this. It's time to move. I'm going. She got the better of us before, but not this time. Monica! Oh dear! Perhaps it's time we join the battle in earnest. I won't watch her die. Let's go, Hanneman. This is now! Give in! I shall make them work for it, if nothing else. Leave everything to me. I've got this. Let's begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to Shall we? I must succeed. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work. Begin the operation. Our order. My turn. Yes. Team, let her go. The battle is over. We must prepare for our next maneuver. This is no. You're looking a little worse for wear. Let me heal you. Can never be too careful. Not too cold. It's 
so dreadful to see a familiar face across the battlefield. That said, I will not back down. We'll never. Let us deal with Manuela first. So you're an Imperial general now, Professor Manuela. I must fight against some of my students in order to save others. These are troubling times we live in, in Zizuta. I never thought the day would come that I'd cross blades with Professor Henry. Who would have thought you... Not a problem. I've got this. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything. Let's. It's time to move. You okay, would actually this. put in the effort to save me. But I must thank you all the same. You'll never win. Thank you, my friend. Everyone else has shown such bravery. I must persevere as well. Not bad at all. Ugh. I'm starting to like this. I refuse to die single. There's still so much I want to do in life. I have to withdraw. It's time to move. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Shall we? I must succeed. We will proceed as planned. We must hear you loud and clear. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> You force your way into your city and kill innocent people. And you're shameless enough to claim you're on the side of justice. I may have one foot in the grave. I insist I keep the other out for the time being. Very formidable duel. I wonder if our paths will cross again in the future. Leave everything to me. Not a problem. I've got. Let's begin. It's time to move. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure we will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our... Begin the operation. All troops? Let me at it. At least... I can die. In my hometown. <laughs> Done what we can. Isn't it time for you to come out already, Duke Gertz? A general ought to seek vengeance for his subordinates. Be careful what you wish for. There's quite a lot of deaths to avenge by now. Duke Gertz is essential to our empire. We must be protected at all costs. Let's begin. It's time to move. Not a problem. I've got this. 
Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of them. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. We will proceed as planned. We I see they're putting up one last bit of futile resistance. Too bad it's not going to work. How ironic. My territory has always strived for peace. And it's the first claimed by the flames of war. Run, Gert. You must save Her Majesty. Protect the Empire! Our enemies fought well. To be honest, I'm not sure how much more we can endure. We've taken the main hall. Victory is ours, Knights of Fargus! My friends down. A decent effort. No, this is not my peak. Fought like they were possessed out there. One wrong move and we'd have been finished. Imperial nobles will battle to the bitter end to protect their homes, just as we would. I suggest you get used to it. Everyone we face from this point forward will strike at us with the same vigor. 
I guess it's kill or be killed, huh? It's exhausting just thinking about the road ahead. Do not complain. We are only doing this to restore peace to Fodlin, remember? <laughs> I can't say I blame you for worrying. This is a difficult campaign in every sense of the word. For one, the unfamiliar terrain greatly favors our enemy. And however noble our cause, the guilt of invading our neighbors will always weigh heavy on our minds. Be that as it may, we can't turn back now. If the kingdom and empire cannot coexist, then there is no other choice but to fight. He's right. We all know what'll happen to Fargus if we just sit back and let Adrestia do what they want. So you all grasp the gravity of our actions, yet choose to march on regardless. It seems our rising lords have grown even stronger than I thought. The future of Fargus is a bright one indeed. For now, all we can do is commend our soldiers for delivering us a valiant triumph, and of course, bid they continue the march. When the sun sets on this war, only our king will be fettered by the vile moniker of invader. Don't put this all on him. And it will fall on you to support him through it, Felix. You understand, yes? That is your duty as the shield of Fargus, and descendant of the hero Fraldarius. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, Rodrigue, you're up late. Ah, yes. Preparing strategy proposals for tomorrow's war council. The more legwork I can do in advance, the smoother the process will go. Thus, lessening the burden on His Majesty. Even one as strong as he would collapse from overwork were all our councils an unchecked slog. He barely sleeps as it is, right? Sometimes I see him face down on his desk, I guess catching what little shut-eye he can. <laughs> yes, he reminds me of the late king in that sense. Lambert too ascended the throne at a young age. Too young, if you ask me. And struggled greatly to adapt to the many rigors of governance. Guess you two knew each other a long time then. I'd heard you went to the academy together at least. I've gotta ask, is Dimitri really that much like his dad? Oh, you would hardly be able to tell them apart were they in the same room now. Though Lambert did have a somewhat shorter temper. Still, they're birds of a feather compared to my son and I. The two of us are as different as the blackest night and the brightest day. I don't know. I think you're pretty similar. Like, you're both the first to take the initiative when something important needs doing. That's enough to make this old man's cheeks burn. Make sure you share that opinion with Felix as well. I suppose he is quite like me. Though mostly in ways I'd hope to avoid. Meaning what? He can't live without some great purpose in life urging him forward. There is no peace in such an existence. I know because I'm the same way. As Lambert's right hand, I devoted every waking moment to serving him, supporting him. And when he was lost, so too was my reason for being. I had no choice but to search for something else to propel me forth. In the end, and after much consideration, I chose to devote myself anew to Lambert, to seeing through the promise I had made him. And what was that? That should his son ever lose his way, I would be the one to set him back on the proper course. But I won't be here forever. Thankfully, His Majesty is blessed with friends like you. Ones who are willing to ease the immense burden on his shoulders. Funny, I feel like Dimitri's been helping me this whole time, not the other way around. But it's all a give and take in the end, right? You've done more than your fair share for me, too. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, truly. But to be frank, 
My own shortcomings have grown alarmingly clear of late. It's not enough to simply stand by his side and support. He needs someone to grab his hand and pull him in the right direction. And you don't think you can do that? Even with Gustav's help? At the end of the day, he and I are nothing more than His Majesty's retainers. We cannot view Foglin through his eyes. But you, you stand on equal footing with him as a trusted friend. Such a bond is a rare thing indeed. Dimitri's my leader, yeah, but he's a friend first. Probably helps that I'm not in the nobility. Is that the root of it, I wonder? If I recall, you were born in Alliance territory, yes? Yep, in a remote mountain town off in Ordelia land. Honestly, I don't remember much more than that. And with this weird power and all, it's hard to say for sure where I really came from. Well, if you ask me, those things, your background, your abilities, don't matter much in the end. I can't blame you for being curious, of course. But we haven't put our faith in you because of whose child you are. The relationships you've built in your time here transcend whatever blood may flow in your veins. Huh, what a wonderful human being. A true man of character. Anyway, seeing as you're here, I was hoping you might be willing to share some of your wisdom with me. I would love to know a mercenary's thoughts on the proper location to stage an ambush, and where in that position our archers should take up posts. Now we're talking. Let's see. 